Hello guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Once again, I'm Shiro James, a vlogger from Kenya. I update my videos once every week. So, welcome. So, today is a cook video. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, so, today I'm going to do... Uh, Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel for the old members. Thank you for keeping it here. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for watching. And for the new members still at home, you're most welcome to join this growing family. So today we are going to do a cook video. So I upload videos once a week. Uh, all twice but mostly once a week so today we are doing a cook video this recipe was inspired by CCME she's a Nigeria food and lifestyle vlogger uh, she has her YouTube channel you can go and check her out so I'm going to make a uh, puff puff as they call them in Nigeria but here in Kenya we call them kaimati or mandazi uh, but this will be like an upgraded way of making mandazi. Uh, yeah, not the usual way we make mandazi. I'll make another video on how we make mandazis in Kenya. So let's go ahead and start with this recipe. Hope you guys will enjoy it and uh, you can try it out. So these are the ingredients we are going to use. I have... Uh, my flour is all-purpose flour, like two cups of flour. So I'm going to use baking powder because uh, it's not uh, the safe rising flour. So I have some mandarin. I'll use blue band. I have some vanilla essence, uh, sugar, eggs, and some milk. So let's get started. So here I get uh, an extra cup. That's why I'm going to put our uh, margarine, that's about two spoons. Mine was almost over, so I used everything that was in the tin. Uh, you can skip this step and start with the dry ingredients separate, mixing them together, but this is how I prefer it. So I get uh, another tablespoon and put like about four tablespoons of sugar yes four tablespoons of sugar then mix this up together you stir in till the mixture is good Uh, so at this point I get my baking powder you can use yeast instead of the baking powder but I had baking powder so this is what I used so I get like uh, one teaspoon of the baking powder and it's not hipped you don't put a lot so I did put like one tablespoon of baking powder then I mix that together I stir in then I go in and get my uh, vanilla essence and add like uh, about two spoons yeah, that's enough. So I add this bit of the vanilla essence and mix that again as well. At this point, this is where I get my eggs. Oh, oops, sorry for that. Uh, this is where I get my eggs and uh, beat them in as well. I added like about three eggs and then mixed that up. so yeah I'm adding a little bit of milk then I stir in again to mix the mix 
kitchen. And what do we say that to mix everything together? Well, I go to my flour and make uh, something like a well and put everything inside the flour. Everything. Then I start to mix that all together. So I find it is easier than starting with the dry ingredients, then putting the the milk. So if you don't prefer milk, you can use water. And even you can skip the egg part. You don't have to use the eggs. So you add the milk as you go on to get the right cons con consistency. Yeah, that's the word consistency. So you keep stirring until you get that right consistency that we are looking for so i think i added too much milk because when it became a bit runny it was too light not to my liking so uh, i thought it was too light so here i'm just taking the consistency and it's a bit light so i went uh, back and uh, got the flour and added like uh, about two tablespoons of flour yeah about two tablespoons of flour to make it to, for me to get that right consistency so i start that in and i think um at this point i'm liking the consistency so it's okay. I, I, I like it. So far, it's so good. So, just give it a little bit of a stir. Then I put, uh, I get, get a lid and cover the mixture and let it sit for a while. I let it sit for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so here I'm just getting the oil ready. I'm putting it in the cooking pan and then putting I put it in medium heat. Oh God, can't talk. So I put it in medium heat and let it uh, get heated as I wait for the mixture to rise. So my mixture is ready and I'm ready to start cooking. So I get one uh, spoon and then I add it in the oil to know whether my oil is hot to the point that it can cook well. So I just add one and uh, check on the oil, how hot the oil it is. So I just, and you can see my oil was not heated well, so I had to wait a few more minutes for it to get more heat. Yeah. So now my oil is at the right temperature and now I can start dropping these things in. Man, the struggle was real. The struggle here was real. Uh -oh. <laughs> it was much struggle. I think I should have used the a paper bag, nylon paper bag, to drop it like the way you use to drop to draw cakes, something like that. Cause man, the struggle was real. This thing, I've never cooked this again, so this was my first trial, <laughs> and I struggled, guys. I struggled, but all in all. I did it. So let's go cooking. <laughs> and as you can see, they started turning round. So you keep turning them over and over so that they cook evenly. So, yeah, that's it. So you keep turning and cooking them until they are golden brown in color. Keep turning. So here I had to get a 
tray and uh, some uh, kitchen towel where I'll place them to drain off the excess oil. See how they turn uh, into a golden brown? That's the point you know that your mandazes are done. So you can remove them from the oil and then start the second round of the second bunch of the second round. So yeah, that's how I did my mandazes. So I continued cooking and uh, as you can see, the shape was out of this world. I didn't do like Sissy does it, but next time I'll do better. Yeah. making my kaimati and uh, <laughs> so funny i think you've already seen it the shape is out of this world but don't mind it as long as they can be edible that's the main thing next time we'll try and make the shape better so let's get to look at one so like this one the shape is not so good guys so oh they're so soft from inside uh, if you want, you can sprinkle some icing sugar on top, but and you can have them with tea, coffee, milk, whatever you like them. Kids love these things so much, so let's enjoy a small piece. Hmm. They are so nice. They are moist. They are soft inside, and the sugar is okay and i can feel that smell of vanilla the taste of vanilla it's yummy go try them out guys make them better shapes not like mine try using uh, the measuring spoon maybe it will give you better shapes than mine so that's my recipe thank you for watching thank you for keeping it here I love you guys. Mm -hmm.